We begin in the East Bay. It's complicated and controversial. At this hour, hundreds of East Bay parents are facing the heartbreaking prospect of telling their kids they'll have to change schools and teachers. The Hayward Unified School Board facing a nightmarish financial situation that may mean closing schools and moving students all over the district. NBC Barry's Terry McSweeney watched that meeting, and Terry, the decision just came down. Yeah, about 10 minutes ago, they finally decided. On the one hand, you have the school district saying, hey, we got way too many schools, way too few students. We're millions in the hole. And you got parents saying, do not think about closing my child's school. And tonight, after all that talking and wrangling, they decided to meet in the middle. Kids over money. When you talk about closing schools, parents tend to not like it. And so it was at Birchfield Park in Hayward this evening. We'd like to have a pause button. And a, and a lengthy pause button. This leading up to the school district board meeting. A board proposing closing schools to close a deficit, though not shutting as many schools as originally proposed. You see here the old plan closed 14 schools, the new one six. The old one sent students from eight schools to 18 different schools. Now students from five schools would go to 21 schools, meaning less travel. Parents who called in for the virtual meeting were vehemently opposed to the closing, many very upset, saying the board needs to slow its decision. It seems like there was no community outreach. We also had a plan to put on hold any discussions of closure, and it has not been recognized. You're trying to sell us a meal of eating a shoe and telling us it's all we have. It's all we can do. Just eat the shoe. We don't like it either. Just do it. The district says there's been declining enrollment for years, and the millions they've already cut from the budget are not enough, with 900 million more dollars needed for building repair. They won't address either our ongoing budget shortfalls or our facility, um, the facility shortfalls we have, but they will meaningfully help. The plan dealt with the next three school years, but only the next one school year. That part of the plan is going to go into effect. So Bowman and Strobridge are going to close. After that, everything's back on the table. People tonight screaming about not being involved in the process. They're going to get their chance. There are going to be committees and all kinds of all kinds of uh, meetings, gatherings, talking about it. The people are going to be heard. When the final decision is coming down, impossible to say. Live in Hayward, Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News.